Hello, Fizzles family and friends. This is the Daily Advent Message for Thursday, December 2nd, and it's my intention uh, to come to you each day during Advent to read you a selection from the 2021 UCC Advent to Epiphany devotional booklet titled Jesus Crisis, written by the writers of the UCC Still Speaking Writers Group. Uh, the booklet is published by the Pilgrim Press and has uh, permission, and we have permission to use it uh, for worship or educational purposes, which this would qualify, as long as we cite the booklet and give credit to the authors. Today's author for the devotional is Naomi Washington Leaphart, and she is the director for faith-based and interfaith affairs for the Mayor's Office of Public, Public Engagement in Philadelphia. And the title for her devotional today is Hood and Holy, Hood and Holy. And her scriptural reference is from the Gospel of John, John 1, verse 14, taken from the Message Bible. And here is that verse. The Word became flesh and blood, and moved into the neighborhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one-of-a-kind glory, like father, like son, generous inside and out, true from start to finish. And now, her devotional, Hood and Holy. To me, the pandemic has felt like a cruel game of hide-and-seek with God. I didn't know if I was it, but since March 2020, I found myself covering my eyes and counting cases, deaths, tears, and fears. When I get tired of counting and begin to search for God in all of it, I panic. I've looked under every rock and around every corner. Sometimes I find the residue of God's presence, but other times I find only chaos. Where is God? So many of us have lamented the disruption that COVID-19 has been to our worship. Sure, God is everywhere, but God's home base is the sanctuary, right? But as Shug Avery says to Seeley in Alice Walker's epic novel, The Color Purple, Have you ever found God in church? I never did. I just found a bunch of folks hoping for him to show. Any God I ever felt in church, I brought in with me. And I think all the other folks did too. They came to church to share God, not find God. God's home base is the neighborhood, and God is the preeminent good neighbor. Picture it. God is on the front stoop, watching the kids jump double dutch, waving at the mail carrier, listening to Frankie Beverly and Mays on repeat. God wants to be in the messiness of life with us, sighing with us as we sit in the idling car in the driveway after a long day of work, pacing the floor with us when we can't fall asleep, dancing with us as we fold laundry to our favorite tunes. Have you seen God in the neighborhood lately? And her prayer, God, you know where we live. Thank you for moving in not to displace or shame, but to share light and love and light. May our search for you always lead us home. That's hood, neighborhood, and holy. Look forward, I look forward to sharing a devotional with you each day as we progress through Advent. I look, also look forward to uh, worshiping with you on Sunday, the second Sunday of Advent, which is also uh, this Sunday is Communion Sunday, and so we'll have the lighting of the second Advent candle, the, the, can, the candle of peace, as well as celebrating the Sacrament of Holy Communion. And then in the afternoon, we'll have our uh, gathering at one o'clock to prepare goodie bags for our homebound people and for our youth, and then go sing carols to, to them. And then uh, when we finish, we'll come back to be to church by five o'clock. Those who didn't go caroling with us uh, uh, in the afternoon are invited to join us there 
for a bonfire, more carols, more fellowship, some goodies for us uh, as we celebrate the coming of Christ in the Advent and Christmas season. So I hope to see many of you in worship. Actually, I hope to see all of you in worship uh, and at the events on Sunday afternoon as well. So until we talk again, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. And I know that God is in the hood and is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now.